Hey guys, I'm Mega G Wolf, and welcome back to the Sonic Hack Showcase. So, weird thing, we don't have a Sega screen this time. That's very odd. I'm not used to that. That kind of puts off my timing a bit. But you know what? It don't matter. Today, we're playing something I've been meaning to show off for a while. Sonic and Ashuro. This is a game that, or uh, the hack that was presented to us during the hacking contest. But, uh, I didn't actually have a chance to play it after that for the show. We're going to play as a Shuro, of course, because why not? I believe this is the most updated version, as far as I'm aware, as long as the version I was presented on SSRG was updated, because that was the one that I downloaded, the most recent update, the most recent one available. So here's hoping, basically. Of course, this contains an OC of Ashuro with bandages from Sonic Boom, it looks like. Uh, a very, a very weird hairstyle, I guess. I don't know why also there are bandages on the, the back of his spines there. That's kind of an odd choice. But hey, whatever, man. Whatever. Some people might not like the OC thing because some people say it will take them out of it, you know. Ah, oh, this isn't- this isn't the Sonic that I know back in my day. Back in my day, Shadow was an official OC. Do not steal. But otherwise, I feel like- I feel like this is a pretty good little hack. It's got nice level changes. Obviously, there's some art involved, new characters, new moves. And that. Ashuro has the spin dash, and I don't know if he has a peel out of some kind. He has a double jump, which is quite nice. Uh, oh, he has like a, a downward jump as well. Interesting. I don't know if he has that because apparently B, pressing B in midair is a double jump. And then pressing C is a down thrust. <laughs> I don't know what else to call that. Oh, he does have a peel out. Okay, great. I can't wait to never use that. Just as much as I apparently never use the spin dash. But that's usually because the hacks don't require me to use it that much. Because I find myself that... I find that being hit isn't necessarily a sense of difficulty, it's, it's deaths, really. Because you can recollect the rings. Let's just see if they've changed the thing. Ooh, nice logo. Of course, I can't help but think, like, Edgy, Edgelord, oh, darkness. Every time I see something like this, because that's just kind of what my brain has been, uh, has been programmed as. Do da na 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 na. What is it with these suddenly using the best music? I was just talking about this last time. Ha! Ah oh, shit. Oh no. There we go. Wait, where the guy? Where? Oh, down here. Okay. Ah, what are these? Come on. Look. I've the amount of time. Obviously, they might not have. They might not have known. Uh, they might not have heard about my rants about why diamonds with no difficulty is the worst thing ever. You're just delaying the inevitable. Just don't do it. Make it so that I have to eat away the diamonds and there's some risk involved. Like, if you look at every other standard Sonic 1 special stage, when you're eating away at those diamonds, there's always a sense of, if I don't do it in a particular way or in a in a very safe ma manner, I'm gonna just fucking die because I'll run into something. But that is just wasting my time. So if you're gonna do if you're gonna do custom special stages, uh, that is that is my advice. I don't know if anyone else has given you that advice yet, but that is that is my advice. Uh, I'm specifically addressing like the creator is watching at this point, but yeah, that that's that's what you can take away from this and me just playing the game essentially. What I get a wall jump? Oh my god! You know it probably would have been great if I'd read up on what he can do. Though I like this spin dash animation. Darkness. Wee. I don't know how he goes from that position to suddenly doing a spin dash, though. That seems a bit weird. But overall, I think he can also swim as well. Overall, this, this game's pretty cool. I like it. It's got interesting level design. It's certainly uh, different, let me tell you that much, because I, I have no idea what's coming next. To be fair... I don't actually remember if I've taken certain paths that I took during the hacking contest, or if I'm just like playing it on a whim. Uh, probably that. How do I how do I initiate the wall jump there? That's weird. I don't know. Oh come on, one more ring. One more ring. Yeah, there we go. Getting a lot of extra lives, which is nice actually. I find a lot of hacks don't do that. 
A lot of hacks, um, at least my hack didn't that much. Uh, didn't actually give you any lives. Mainly because there just wasn't enough rings. Well, unless you really went out and hunted for them. But I feel like in the early stages, on the normal set path, you should probably set enough rings to at least get a one up if you're not hit by an enemy. Because I think that's pretty fair. Oh, wow. At least these, these have got custom special stages. However much I rag on them, uh, I do I do like some people that do custom stuff on these, you know? Not, not the smooth camera. That's weird. Don't... <laughs> I'm kind of glad that's not here. Mind you, I'm sure it'd be fine. The fact that it's like custom would be, it'd probably be okay. But, uh, ah, come on. All right, let's go up there. Do I even need to go in here? I don't know. I wouldn't know, because guess what? The diamonds don't give me any good indication. See, those are good diamonds there, because I can lose. But like, sometimes I swear to God. <laughs> Let me see in here. Oh, come on. Let me get in there. There we go. All right, what are these? Ah, you see these? Ah. Okay, those are okay. These, not so much. Like, I mean, um, well, maybe. Um, even then, it's still like, I, I imagine it'd still be hard. It's weird, right, how the special stages are, in fact, like one of the areas that I believe you can mess up the difficulty a lot easier than the actual stages. Then again, apparently I've been, I've been seeing posts that early versions of this game had like bottomless pits everywhere. So, it's hard to know. Some people's difficulty is different than others, so. I don't mind bottomless pits in a way. I feel like they are a cheap way of killing people, but I feel like it is going to be a way to quickly tell the player, look, if you mess up on these jumping sections or don't know, like, what is coming, which is, you know, arguably bad, but if it's specifically, like, platform sections, uh, I don't think it's too bad because you are obviously punishing for bad platforming. Whether that should be in the first stage or not is actually another question. Like, that's more of a case of like, maybe if you want to do that, you do it later, not right on Green Hill 1, you know? <laughs> Fuck. No! <laughs> Spike up the butt. I want to see if the boss is different at least. Because, whoosh! I like the downward, the downward jump as well, because you get some sick air, bro. Uh, and then you and then you mess up. Oh great, speed up. Whoop, that was weird. Oh, no, no! <laughs> See, that's that was not that good. That was questionable. I mean the rings are probably there to guide you, but I don't know. That seemed a bit Whoa, it's so fu <sighs> Okay. <laughs> Look, there are, there are some things I'll forgive, and there are some things that are just a fucking dick move. And you know how much I hate dick moves. Launch! Okay. Is this just gonna be... This is just gonna be robotic. Any different? Nope. There's just bridges here. And I have a double jump. This is, like, even easier than before. I don't know if Sonic's any different. Plus, I don't know if these monitors are still in this. Like, originally there were monitors that you could switch between Sonic and Ashuro. I don't know if those are in, in this still. But that was like a really cool gimmick. I hope that isn't removed. That was alright. I mean, I liked it. That was quite fun. Ashuro falls asleep. Pyramid trap. Ooh. Ah, oh, you see, this is where things start to get interesting in the hack. It's... Man. I'm glad I kind of played on a bit because I feel like that first level would be a bad first impression. It's like, oh no, another Green Hill Zone, which, you know, was a joke in itself. Speaking of which, you know, I was saying how the monitors wanted to change Sonic. Yeah, there we go. God, this guy is blue. Oh, okay. It's got different moves. Oh, he's got the drop dash. What? But yeah, again, someone's been really excited for Mania, I guess. Hey, I'm not complaining. That'll get me used to using it at least. Alright, he doesn't have a double jump, but he has a forward dash, or like a jump dash. So that's pretty cool. Eh. I don't know if it like, homes in or not, but... It don't... Oh god. Ah! Curse of the Pharaoh! Ah! Okay, looks like there was another monitor down there. It's, it's suddenly, it's like, they're everywhere all of a sudden. The monitors to change are everywhere. Huh. That feels like you don't get enough, a lot of time there. Swoosh! Oh god, slow down. But yeah, at least like, this is like way different. 
which is cool. Yeah, well, there's, there's so many of them now. What? That's weird. Oh, oh, that was weird. Also, have you noticed that my lives are now two again? Why has that happened? Or why are they two to begin with now? What? I don't feel like that's working as intended. When did that happen? Did that happen during my first switch? Because that would be a right bastard of a trade-off. Yeah, something ain't right there. I'll wait until I get, like, another one-up and see if it changes. Because it might just be the game not understanding, like, what to put as the number when you trade between the characters. I think I'll, I'll, oh, I don't think I'll be able to do it now. I'll try and make it to the end of this stage and then we'll wrap it up. Because I feel like I, I always forget to time these recordings for some reason. What the hell? <laughs> I do like the way that this level looks though. It gives me a nice uh, Sandopolis feel, but not so strongly. Like it's got originality in it, in a way. I think it's using Sandopolis's background. I don't know, that might, no, maybe not. To be fair, I haven't actually paid attention to the Sonic backgrounds in, like, ever, I think, so... Like, I mean, for example, I thought the last in the last hack we showed off that one of the levels was actually had a background from, uh... From what? What was it? Like, uh... Oh god, what game was it? I thought it was, like, Streets of Rage or something. But it wasn't. It was just Chemical Plant, just a different colour. I feel like I haven't made much progress in this at all. Mind you, I guess in comparison, I'm doing the special stages, whereas in Legacy, I wasn't. I was just going through the stages. Yay! Okay! Sonic and Ashuro. Honestly, I feel like there's a lot more to the hack that meets the eye. I remember there being quite a nice chunk of levels, so I definitely encourage you trying it out. Um, you can find the Sonic Hacking Contest build, but I feel like that one's the outdated one, so if you want to get the more updated one, you might want to go on the, uh, SSRG forums. And now I have 13 lives! Okay, never mind, guess I was okay after all. Yeah, fine. That's fine. That's fine. Alright. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Sonic Hack Showcase. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks. Bye.